Smile 2 is directed by Parker Finn and is a sequel to the incredibly successful Smile from 2022. About to embark on a world tour, global pop sensation Sky Riley begins experiencing increasingly terrifying and inexplicable events. Overwhelmed by the escalating horrors and the pressure of fame, Sky is forced to face her past. I remember seeing the first smile and being really surprised about how good this premise was and how it was executed. I thought the horror was really good there, characters were interesting, and all in all, it was a pleasant surprise. This film takes it up a notch. There are some elements here that I think were better and some elements that I think were worse. I like the new character very much just the same as I did the previous. I think Sky Riley, played by Naomi Watts, is really good. The performance she gives is incredible. There's a lot of physicality to the role as well as with her facial performance and how she has to deal with a lot of these horror elements. The movie explores a more psychological side to how these occurrences will infect someone and I think that was all handled really well, especially when she has to deal with her friends and family and stuff that happened with her in her past because she has done some awful stuff really. She's not that good of a person or she wasn't that good of a person. She's trying to come clean in her life, trying to start new. But once this whole smile event starts occurring and someone dies in front of her from this thing, her life becomes a living hell. And I think the movie explores her character going through these events while also trying to rekindle her relationships and rebuild her life all effectively well and I really did empathize with her at many points in the film and I think the horror elements too at least in the first two acts were great there are jump scares but they weren't those annoying jump scares where it's just a character touches you or there's a loud noise and it comes out someone comes out and it's like nothing it was like good tension building jump scares and I just feel like these are kinds of jump scares that I feel like we should keep going on with. Even jump scares where there's like no noise at all, just a creepy image and that's enough to get you and this movie does a lot of those horror elements pretty well. My problems though come in the third act. The third act, like the previous, wants to go a bit crazy, wants to go a bit out there. But with this film, it felt like the ending just kept going on and on to the point where it's trying to up itself and up the ante, up the horror, especially with the monster. This just was a bit much, really. And I felt like they could have toned it down, not so much the violence, but the craziness and just how out there this could really be. Because I felt like the ending just wanted to try and bring out the shock value a bit too much where it just kind of lost a focus on the story for a bit. I felt like there were multiple endings where the film could have ended perfectly there. But it just wanted to keep going on and up itself. And I felt like the movie could have trimmed down that ending. And it would have been a little bit more satisfying. But all in all, I still say that this is around the same levels as the first film. It is a surprisingly fun horror film that has a lot of good moments, a lot of good characters, and has some really cool practical effects and the set designs and everything exploring this more lavish life of a celebrity and how celebrity can really take a hold on someone both mentally and physically. I think it was all handled really well and how mixed in a lot of those horror elements is exactly how I think a celebrity would react to a lot of these strange events that's happening to her. And Naomi Scott is incredible. She kills it in this role. All in all, I still think this is an enjoyable horror film. And if you like the first film, I think you're gonna, you're gonna like this one too. I'm gonna give Smile 2 a B plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.